Hey guys, I'm out here in Anaheim, California. Um, just got done with a long day kicking it in the hotel room, but uh, wanted to get a video out to you and uh, answer a question that I got a couple weeks ago, and I've gotten it a few times since actually, and it was, uh, Jace, is um, sex addiction the same as being a nymphomaniac? And I said, I actually have no idea. I don't really know what that uh, term definition is. I don't really know what that means. So I went and looked. And the short version is that many, many, many years ago, uh, women who had a sex drive were deemed to be mentally ill. And they were then classified uh, as nymphomaniacs. It comes from a Greek term. There's actually a matching male term that we never hear. Um, because there's nothing wrong with you if you're a man and you have a sex drive. Um, so I think the real difference um, is willpower. Um, nymphomania is classified by basically having um, a really high libido, really high sex drive, um, and that's just not what's driving sex addiction. Um, I know this is a super weird concept, and I'll go into it more later, but sex addiction isn't driven by sex at all. It has very little to do with sex. Um, both can be compulsive, I would imagine. Um, you get into addiction when it's something you don't want to be doing. Um, you try to stop. You just can't. Um, you hate it. You know, there's so much more that goes into it. Um, it's not uh, somebody out there who just really loves sex. It just has, like, a ton of sex. Like, somebody else has asked me, you know, how much sex do you have to have before you become a sex addict? It doesn't work that way. You know, how many drinks do you have to have before you're not colic? No, it doesn't work that way, guys. But, um, yeah, really, at the end of the day, nym a nymphomaniac is a, that's a really derogatory term because it tells a woman that having a sex drive is abnormal. Um, can't think of too many women who want that label. And, uh, uh, guys, I would think twice before using that term. Do you really want to discourage women from having a sex drive? Telling them it's abnormal? Um, yeah, if you have any concern for people in general, I would stop using that term. It's not a, it's not a nice term. Um, it tells a woman there's something wrong with her and that's really not a fair thing to do. So, uh, yes. I would advise not using that term anymore. Um, and of course, you know, do a little reading yourself. But uh, that's it for now. I am uh, pool bound. So uh, I'll catch you guys next week. Of course, you can see me on the channel here. Hit up my website, suddenlycelibate.com. Follow me on Twitter at jsexaddict. And uh, keep the questions coming. I'll see you guys next time.